there's another American decision or lack of decision that will have an impact on Canada. This one is about money. Sweeping budget cuts are coming to the American economy, all because Congress couldn't agree on how to resolve a budget impasse. President Obama called today's cuts dumb, but couldn't convince the Republicans to compromise. So $85 billion has to be slashed. And as Brian Moore reports, Canada, too, will feel the effects. Hours before automatic spending cuts were set to take a chainsaw to U.S. government spending, Washington politicians met, but they didn't even pretend to negotiate. It's happening because a choice that Republicans in Congress have made. A politically gridlocked Congress missed a self-imposed deadline to slash the budget, and the punishment is something known as sequestration. $85 billion in automatic military and domestic cuts so severe, economists fear they could smother the recovery. The sticking point is whether to get spending under control with cuts alone or with tax increases on the rich. Revenue in Washington speak. This discussion about revenue, uh, in my view, is over. Uh, it's about uh, taking on the spending problem here in Washington. Sequestration was designed as a fiscal doomsday device, a time bomb so frightening both sides would have to work together to avoid cuts that would ripple through every quarter of the U.S. economy. Government workers, they'd lose 20 percent of their work days. Defense spending slashed by $42 billion. And then there's the big concern for Canadians. What happens at the border? You have 5,000 fewer Border Patrol agents. That has a real impact. Lines, procedures, wait times are all going to get longer. And those long waits translate into big money. The border between Canada and the United States is a trigger point. And if the sequester is not averted, then the border will be hit almost immediately. Most of the sequester cuts will be phased in over the next month, but the White House and Congress are facing another looming deadline, March 27th. That's the date they have to raise the limit on government credit or find a way to start shutting the whole government down. Brian Moore, Global News, Washington.